Mag. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, of course you caught me. You caught me. Oh, I'm just listening to some tunes at the moment. On Spotify, of course. In Papi Linux 8. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I set an alarm. And that's why I was going to do this. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. Just so you can see. All of a sudden, all my memory comes back. Yeah, in Papi Linux, things are a bit weird sometimes. But not all the time. Because sometimes you get a cat instead of a dog. It's a kitten. But it could be a dog. All depends on your point of view. Okay. Now today we're going to talk about SFS files. Yeah. SFS. Now you may have come across these when you've been downloading stuff on Puppy Linux. So I've had a quick pad just to show you. And we'll go to Office. Okay. And we go to LibreOffice, which I've already installed, okay? I'm just showing you how it works. I'm not telling you what to do. If I click on it, it'll probe the remote site. Blah, 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 blah. And we get some stuff here, okay? Now, I've already installed this 32-bit compatibility bike for the for what I want to do. Because you need that for Steam if you want to play games on Puppy Lurks in Steam. Okay? But they come as this sort of file. It's called a squashed file system. Or words to that effect. Okay, We can moan about it or whatever as long as you like. Okay, But that's basically all it is. I'll move it over there for you. And what that means is it's basically a read-only file. But you can load them and unload them whenever you want to. Okay, So if you don't want to use any uh, LibreOffice one day. Or you don't want to use Steam one day. Or you don't want to use Caden Live one day. Because you've got restricted memory or RAM or your processor's you know, pretty weak. That's how it works. Okay, I'll just show you. So if we go to menu, right down here, and we go to system. Was it system? Or oh, uh, setup? I forgot. I shouldn't forget really because I've been using Puppy for donkeys of years. So if we go to the SFS load on the fly, let's see what happens. Now mounted, I've got the 32-bit compatibility layer for Steam. But so where I load my LibreOffice up, yeah. Oh no, I oh, know. So I'm going to load it up, so I click on LibreOffice and load. And see what happens. Do I want to load LibreOffice? Well, of course I do. So we click OK. Now, does this, this need to restart or not? Sometimes it did. In the old days of four puppy, it was an old, you know, an old thing. But hey, what do I do? I want to just open LibreOffice. Um, okay. And now we've loaded LibreOffice into that read only memory. Okay. But bearing in mind, if you don't take it out, it will load on boot next time. Okay. It will load on boot next time. So if I want to create a document, a better writer, it does its stuff, we're there. That's how it works. So go and close. Now if I go back again to menu and set up SFS load on the fly, as you can see, I've got two to loaded. So so I unload that one. I'm gonna unload it now. Just click on there. Bish posh. Yes, I want to unload it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Just click on there. And it's now unloaded. Super. We're gone. Now, at the moment, you won't see any difference in the RAM because I'm recording at the same time. But if you're using it on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll see some difference. Okay. So if I go down to menu here now, what I'm saying is, blah, 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 we'll go to document. All my stuff in LibreOffice is not there anymore. So I've unloaded that read-only file. Okay. So read-only file, sort of. We could talk about it all night, but hey, that's basically all it is. Okay. Basically. I know. Right. And that's all I wanted to show you tonight. Because I want to get back to my music. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye. And Alexa has started to do some talking in the background. Layers, potatoes.